What it do, Ski Sun Doulas? It's your boy, Wife Jim Blog TV, coming straight out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Now, in this video, I'm just going to be talking about Game 3 of the NBA Finals between the Miami Heat versus the San Antonio Spurs. Hold on one second. Now, I had to get some light up in this bitch. Couldn't see. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, like I was saying... This is going to be, you know, just my preview predictions of Game 3 tonight, what I think is going to happen. Now, let's see. Just from starting off from Game 2, um, we all know the San Antonio Spurs, they got their ass beat. They got embarrassed. You know, they got outplayed, especially in that third quarter. But for the most part of the game, the first and second quarter, it was pretty good. You know, even though Miami was still kind of playing at their pace, but the San Antonio Spurs was, you know, they was able to keep up with the um, – you know, Miami Heat. Now, I felt like that the San Antonio Spurs, even though they got their ass beat, they came out with some good things that they can look forward to for game three. And one of those was Danny Green. He was knocking down his three-point shots. Well, actually, the whole Spurs team was knocking down the three-point shots. Even though they made, I believe, 10 of them, they still missed some ones that should have dropped in. Also, Kawhi Leonard played excellent defense on LeBron James. He didn't let LeBron James get off and do what he normally do. The Spurs overall played a you know good defensive game on LeBron James as far as keeping him from driving into the paint. And I think that that is something that they're going to do in game um, three tonight. They're going to continue to do what they're going to do. But I feel like Pop, which I'm pretty sure he's going to make an adjustment as far as on defensive things, he's going to have to really decide on if he want to continue to double LeBron James or just, you know, man-man coverage because, you know, every time they got LeBron James in the paint or they doubled him, he would easily kick it out to the three-point shooters. And they, and unfortunately, you know, Miami three-point shots of that game was falling. They was falling. Now, I know, you know, they say that the home team role players usually go on a row and don't play that well. And that's something that I think is going to happen. I don't think Chalmers is going to get no 19 points. I don't even think Chris Bosch is going to get 19 points. I don't think, you know, those three-point shooters are going to knock down three-point shots that crazy. Not like they did in game two. They probably will hit some, but probably not a lot. And I feel like, you know, Spurs, they're going to be at home. They're going to be more comfortable. So I feel like they're... You know, role bench players are going to play bit well. Tony Parker and Tim Duncan definitely has to play well. And even Jermano Ginobili because Mano Ginobili, he looked at very, very sloppy. He just didn't look like himself. And I know he's getting older and things like that. But the, the man can still, you know, create his shot, you know, do all the little herky-jerky things that he do to get into the lane. And, um, you know, I feel like also – I don't think the Spurs are going to turn the ball over. They turned the ball over 17 times. And a lot of those turnovers were because of just mishandling uh, Miami's defense. You know, they was just playing them good. And, you know, um, you know I, I don't know what happened. But the Spurs, they just didn't look like themselves. And I feel like, like I said, since they're going to be at home, they're going to play better defense, better offense, less turnovers. Tony Parker will probably get going. And, um, you know, We'll see what happens. Now, as far as the Miami Heat, like I said, I feel like this is the time. We know the first two games, LeBron James, you know, he, offensively he's not been great. I think he's been overall, I think it's 14 of 30-something. or it's, 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 it's bad from the field, you know, him shooting from the field pretty much. You know, it's, it's, it's a bad number. Um, I think – you know, what he's been doing, of course, he's been trying to get his teammates involved, you know, get everybody going first, you know, D-Wade and them like that. That's cool, but in order to win three times in San Antonio or even just get a game in San Antonio, he is probably going to have to step up and just from the gates just try to go off. Now, I know he can't win it by himself, but he's going to have to probably look to get his offense going first. You know, if those other guys can't get it going, then I don't know what's going to happen. Then they probably lose. But your star player is supposed to be the one that step up, you know, on the road. But, like I said, maybe it's San Antonio defense. Maybe it is San Antonio's defense that's, you know, getting in, getting, getting in LeBron James. I mean, hey, maybe he can't go off and get 30 or 40 because Kawhi Leonard, like I said, People's not showing, giving this guy any respect, but he is playing LeBron James well. I mean, I can remember one play, 
in the game where LeBron James was in the post. He ended up facing him up, trying to do the little, you know, trying to fake him out and stuff like that. Kawhi Leonard stayed um, disciplined on defense, and he didn't jump. He didn't jump into him. He just straight up did like this, and LeBron James missed the jump shot. So it could just be because of Kawhi Leonard defense, you know, and his discipline and just the Spurs discipline on defense, and they're, they're managing to not let him take over. But like I said, if the three-point shooters for the Miami Heat are knocking down shots, then they're going to have to really rethink about how they play LeBron James because, of course, you don't want him to get going. He's the only guy on that team that can hurt you. I mean, let's just be real. Dwayne Wade, we know he's not really a, a, a factor, even though he didn't have first two good starts in this in the series. But he's not a really a big threat. And even Chris Bosh, you know, he had his game. He made his open shots. It's because, like I said, they was double teaming. You know, LeBron James for the majority of the game. But, um, you know, it's going to be pretty interesting. Um, I expect the Spurs to play a lot better basketball, uh, and I think they will win this game. It'll be, it'll be a close one. I don't think they're going to blow out the Miami Heat, but um, it, this will be a close game. But I actually picked the Spurs to win this game. Um, they're going to be motivated, especially, the, the, you know, the, the big three of the Spurs because they know they felt they played bad basketball. Tim Duncan missed a lot of easy open shots. You know, Tony Parker, he's going to find his way to get things going. And, um, you know, it's Greg Popovich, man. He, he, I'm pretty sure he's going to have his guys ready to come and play, you know. But it's not a given that they will win the game. But I'm just saying I'm going with the San Antonio Spurs because I feel like, you know, like I said, they're home. They're comfortable. Their road players are going to play even more better. Um, they proved that they can play on the road, but now they're in their comfort zone. And I'm pretty sure they pissed off they got their ass with the last game. Um, so, yeah, um, you know, I don't know. But it's just Miami Heat, they're going to have to find ways to get their guys going. You know, the road players want to step up and hit knockdown shots. Um you know, D-Wade is going to have to have a hell of a game. LeBron James is going to have to have a hell of an offensive game and defensive game. Um, and a lot of people think that that's easy. They think just because he's the best basketball player in the NBA that he can just put on the Superman cape and win the game. And I keep trying to tell people, like, this dude is human, okay? You can't win a championship by yourself. He can put up 40 points. But... If he's putting up 40 points and the other guys are not doing nothing and the opposite team is still either two points ahead of you or, or tied up with you or, or, or three points or whatever points ahead of you, then it really don't matter, you know? Spurs, they're focused. They know what to do. They have seen LeBron James before. At least the big three have. And even though he was younger, but he still was a dog when he was younger. He was still a beast when he was younger. So they know what to expect from LeBron James, especially now. Like, so they just they just playing good defense. If they keep continuing to play good, if they let if this dude averaged 20 points the rest of this game, the rest of these games, then the Miami Heat is all gonna lose. <laughs> you know, if the Spurs, like I said, good ball movement, knock down three point shots, play solid defense, you know, control the paint, control the rebounds, um, you know clog up the lanes of LeBron James driving lanes, even D-Wade, then they're going to win this series. You know, now, if Miami Heat, for somehow, you know, just turn it up another level, or they continue to play like they did last game in the third or fourth quarter, then there's a chance that the Miami Heat can win this game. You know, um, but, um, you know, that's just my thoughts. Everybody don't think the same. You know, everybody think that the Miami Heat, like I said, is going to win this series still. But like you guys know, I picked the Spurs either in six or seven. But um, Spurs, they have a, you know, a great, great opportunity to to, 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 to end this series. They have a great opportunity to win this series. All they got to do is win three games at home. Now, I know, you know, people say, well, beat Miami Heat. Three times in a row, that, that or even two times in a row, that that hasn't happened all postseason. Well, things are meant to happen, and now that San Antonio has an opportunity to win at home, it will be sweet for them. So they're going to try to win all three of these games. Um, crowd is going to be into it, like I said, and 
And even if they don't win all three, if they can just get two and then go back to South Beach, they already proved that they can win in South Beach. So, you know. Um, but overall, I expect both teams to, you know, play good. Um, I don't think – I think it's going to – field goal percentage probably be in the 40s. LeBron James probably get close to a triple-double. It depends on the type of – it depends on how he come out and play. If he come out passive, then, yes, he's probably going to get a triple-double. Um, Tim Duncan is going to play better. I think Tony Parker, like I told you guys, the big three, they're going to play better. Um, I don't think – like I said, Chalmers is going to knock down that many shots. I don't think Bosch is going to play that great. And, um, yeah, Spurs will probably win tonight. I'm going to say 96, 88, 89, something like that. But, anyway, guys, you tell me what you think is going to happen in tonight's game. Game three is the Miami Heat going to win? Is LeBron James going to come out aggressive, attack? Um, you know, will he, will the Spurs continue to play them better and you know what just tell me what you think is going to happen hit me up on twitter hit me up on facebook check out my previous videos comment subscribe like favorite um share make sure you go to datpiff.com livemixtapes.com and download mgm grandma cj De Niro, and um deuces